Hi everyone, welcome to Keeper of My Home. My name is Eric and as always, I'm so glad I have you here today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it's your first time meeting me, welcome. I'm so happy to meet you. So I'm so happy to participate in this collaboration hosted by Val. She is a homeschool mom of three. She does everything on homeschooling, slow cooker meals, curriculum reviews, preschool ideas, everything, you name it. Definitely check her out and all the mamas participating in this collaboration. So let's get started with the video. So today I just want to be honest, completely honest, and just tell you what I do in the moments and the times that I get stressed out, burnt out, tired, overwhelmed, feel like a failure really. I feel like I am behind, my kids are behind, and I really want to just be transparent with you in what really does help. So I know we all go through our times, we all go through seasons, we all have our struggles, our trials, our tribulations, our storms, in our personal life, in our marriages, in parenting, in our health sometimes, in our family's health or, or loved ones, COVID, I mean there's so much that we deal with in this world. There's so much load that we as moms and as women and as the keeper of our homes, we carry so very much. And we are, right? We're, we're the wives. We're, we're the ones that are there for our spouses when they need us and vice versa. And sometimes it can be overwhelming for us as moms and as wives to know everything about the finances or to know everything about the work that our husbands are dealing with. But there is definitely something that we can do. And I'm here to encourage you, the best thing and the greatest thing that I've ever done in my entire life is seriously, once I started waking up early and, or maybe not even early, waking up and giving thanks, waking up and um, thanking God for my day, for my life. I can see, I can breathe and thanking him for literally a lot of things that I have. And I tell him, I said, I thank you for my apartment. I think it's so beautiful. I am totally grateful, totally grateful this apartment God provided for us to be here and it's just I'm totally grateful he opened the door for us to be in the city that we wanted to be in and there's so many things to be grateful for my parents and I go down the list and my church my friends my wonderful family here I've, I've met here on YouTube and on Instagram anyways so gratitude being thankful and literally thanking God because once we thank God we feel a little bit better because it's not so bad when we realize what we do have now say you are going through a trial and you are really in the nitty-gritty of something and you still have to homeschool you still have to clean your house you still have to be mom you still have to be wife you still have to be daughter you still have to be daughter and friend what do you do definitely take it to God giving him thanks and also asking him for your needs but after you ask for your needs, I promise you, this is the secret to life. You first give thanks, then you pray for your need. Last thing, start praising Him. You start worshiping Him. You start thanking God as though it's already done. I promise you, you will feel encouraged because there's no way you can be sad and praising God at the same time. Sad and giving Him thanks at the same time. There's just no room for two. Promise you, just please, I beg you, try it. Um, I keep going to my testimony because it's the greatest, one of the greatest miracles God has done for me is when I dealt with a miscarriage and I was broken. I was discouraged. I think I was depressed. I, I dealt with a lot of anxiety, so much crippling anxiety that I felt like shaking, my heart palpitating. I felt like I was going to faint. I got dizzy. I didn't know what it was at that time. But now looking back and talking to friends that went through the same thing, they're like, yo, that's anxiety. I was like, wow it's so crippling it's so crippling and then you get thoughts and fearful of everything and start worrying about stuff you don't need to worry about so during that time i'm telling you during that time um after the miscarriage with my pregnancy number four i prayed i said lord i, I don't know why you know first of all i thanked him for my day and all that and then i when it was time for my prayer i said lord i don't know why you took my baby i don't understand i thought we were cool i thought like I loved you and you loved me and like I was your daughter and you know like I, I thought we had something you know like how could this happen I thought I this is not supposed to happen to me and uh, I've lived for you I know I've never been perfect but but I've strived I've, I've strived majority of my life to, to live a, a you know a Christian life and all that you know so I told the Lord I said I don't understand and I did have a pity party for a second and I did was like a dog licking my wounds you know I was like that for a moment I'm not gonna lie I'm human 
But then a part of me said, God, you are sovereign and you know what you're doing. And I trust you. I trust in you. And I'm believing in you. That whatever happened, happened for a reason. I don't understand and I still don't get it. But I said, Lord, and I put my hand on my right on my belly and I said, Lord, bless me with life again. Bless me with life again. Give me a son. Then I wanted a healthy child and I said, Lord, I, the doctor says I can only have one more kid, so I need to have a son. And I said, Lord, my husband weighed seven pounds, nine ounces when he was born. I want my son to weigh seven pounds, nine ounces when he's born so that you can get all the glory and you can get all the honor. And guess what my son did? Long story short. And um, so there's so many things that God did for me. And so that's why I believe in this. After I, I said that, after I prayed for my need, given thanks, prayed for my need, I started worshiping. I said, thank you, Lord, for it's already done. I believe it. I receive my miracle. I receive my blessing. And I and I danced. And I literally jumped in my robe, in my robe with my little girls at that time. They were just coloring or whatever. And I was just literally just dancing in my room. Like, yes, I believe it. And yes, I receive it. And that, to this day, my promise is walking around and he's two years old. He weighed seven pounds, nine ounces. The day I found out of my angel baby, my, the baby that I lost, uh, was February 15th. The day I found out about my son that I have now was February 15th the next year. The day my angel baby was supposed to be due was October 7th. The day my son, my son that's here, was born was October 8th, the day after. It's just incredible that what God has done for me and I just want to share with you that he can do it for you too no matter what circumstance in your life even if it's marital issues even if it's um, parenting issues even if you can't if you're dealing with yourself always screaming or having a bad attitude or having um, just a grumpy day or you don't even know why um, God can help you through that seriously thank him pray about it and then give him thanks those are my three secrets, three top things you need to do. And I promise you, God will do something in your behalf. And um, so if there's anything in this video that you liked, please give this video a like if there's anything that I can help you with. And if there are any comments, if there's any advice that you have for a mom, please leave them below. We're here for each other. I have not arrived. I have not read. I've not, I am no, be no better than anybody. But whatever I do have, and whatever I have learned, I want to share with you and I want to encourage with you, encourage you, you're not alone. Especially nowadays, a lot of moms are dealing with anxiety, are dealing with depression, are dealing with themselves. Sometimes our marriage is good and our kids are fine and homeschool is all right, but we're dealing with ourselves, our body image. We can feel discouraged about losing weight. I, that's me. I, I've gone, I haven't even done an update on my channel because... I'm totally like overweight now like I went above than when I started and I just got to start over every single day of my life starting over literally like and I it's a struggle every single day for me to put myself first or to take care of my things for myself and that's something I'm struggling with and what am I doing for that I'm starting over literally I, I talk to my accountability friends ladies we got this and they tell me what they're doing. And like today I started with drinking water, which I messed up again. I haven't drank water. Um, but yesterday I did have soup for dinner, which is a huge deal because I usually have bigger meals. So I'm literally starting from scratch and I'm literally starting over and I'm not perfect. And um, I'm that's something I'm struggling with. And what I do, how I handle it is definitely take it to God and talk to my accountability friends and take little steps at a time. I've made a goal. And I want to lose weight again. I want to um, eat healthier again. And I want to exercise again. So I did a couple days ago. So I need to start again. Today's Wednesday. Or today, when you're watching this, it's Tuesday. So I still have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And um, so I will be doing an update on that soon. So anyways, if you're dealing with discouragement or if you're dealing with anxiety, if you're, if you're dealing with issues with yourself or with your mind, I totally encourage you to let your husband know um, go to a confidant, talk to a mentor, definitely keep praying, keep worshiping, keep thanking God because sometimes we deal with stuff, it could be a hormonal imbalance, it could be uh, the foods that we're eating where it could be irritable because of inflammation, because of dairy or some other products, gluten that we just don't even know. So you may not, you may be trying to solve a problem or trying to lose weight or trying to like wonder why you're getting all these 
thoughts in your mind or anxiety or whatever and it could be an actual hormonal imbalance it could be an actual um, something that needs to be taken care of with a doctor and with or with someone else and we don't even know that and there's no shame in that there is no shame in in getting help that's the brave thing to do is getting help when you need it that's brave and I respect you and I honor you if you have to do that and if you need to do that and you do it that is an honorable thing that you should be proud of and I am proud of you for doing that taking the steps to take care of you if you don't take care of you you cannot take care of your household your husband your children you will not be able to take care of anybody if you don't take care of yourself so definitely seek help if you need it seek friends if you if you don't have any I'm here for you and here on YouTube we have a beautiful community of homeschool mamas that encourage each other that we're here for each other for reals and even on Instagram, find me at Keeper of My Home. And um, so I'm totally here for you. And um, if if there's anything, if there's anything I can help you and encourage you with, is I am available because I'm here to serve you. And so I encourage you, mamas, please stay encouraged, stay in the Word, reading reading every single day, or at least a scripture, one verse a day, giving God gratitude, asking for your needs, but then ending up with praise. That is a secret, and I promise you, you will feel better if you continue to do it. And you may not receive your answer right away. You may not receive your miracle right away. But I promise you, God will do something. Even if you're praying for your husband to change about something, and you're like, God, but I want you to work on him. Change him, change him, change him. When you change the situation and say, God, change me, what do I have to learn in this season? What are you trying to do with me in this season? I promise you, as harsh as it seems, there's always something that we need to work on. That God will change in us first before He does a change on someone else. And it's just a beautiful thing that He gets all the glory and all the credit. That I've, I've, I've experienced that myself when I've changed for, prayed for other people. And it's like, nope. Alright, what do I need to do? What do I need to learn? What do I need to change? Lord, forgive me. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. According to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. In Psalms 51.10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto you, unto thee. So once God works in us, once God changes us, then He can help us be used, really, to help others and to lead others to Christ and to be an encouragement. And, and we have these goals. We want to do so much. We want to be an influencer. We, we want to be a soul winner. We want to impact our world. We want to make the changes and, and all this stuff. But really, what needs to change, believe it or not, and um, is us. So many times it's us and um, the people. But um, sometimes we want to change people, but all the time it's going to be us first we're going to change first god's going to work in us god's going to deal with us first and then he will move in your husband's life or your friend's life or your mom's life whoever you're dealing with that struggling there's so much for us to change so i encourage you mama i'm sorry this was a long-winded video but it's totally like heart to heart mom to mom wife to wife you know i'm just seriously like I just want to help you and be an encouragement for you and let you know that I'm truly here and I'm truly trying to be transparent with you. And so I've overcome anxiety and depression. I've overcome that cloud. God helped me through that. So if you're dealing with that, please reach out to me. And let me know how I can pray with you. But that is what I did. I, I, kept, I prayed, gave thanks, prayed, praised. I keep saying this over and over. But I also kept going to church. I didn't stop going to church because church was my refuge. I praised God like never before. I worshipped Him. And I don't care who sees me, who hears me. It's like you don't know it like I know what He's done for me. And that is so true. Like no one will understand what you've been through. No one will understand what you've gone through. No one will understand your praise. But once God's done something for you, you're going to worship Him like no tomorrow. And it's going to be great. <laughs> but, any but anyways, I love you guys. I'm here for you. Reach out to me and I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider sharing it with a friend or loved one. 
Also, don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video is uploaded. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And welcome to Keeper of My Home. I love you guys. Until the next video.